Alright folks, welcome back to Let's Play Romance of the Three Kingdoms 11. I'm the Mysterious JG. Um, I went back to my last save point after that last video kind of fell apart a bit. Uh, through the PlayStation crashing, uh, or just not being able to quite read the disc. I played back to approximately where I was. Things didn't go exactly the same. The big thing that you missed event-wise was an officer of Liu Zhang's came to Zhang Zhu whatever, to uh, ask for the release of one of the two prisoners I was holding. He offered me for like 1,400 gold, and seeing as I couldn't get the guy to join me anyway, and it was a chance he was going to escape eventually, I went ahead and traded him and gave him back. So I got like 1,400 some odd gold in exchange for that prisoner, whom I will capture again anyway when I continue my attacks. I did, as you can see, um, on this diplomacy map here, we are now allied with Ma Tang. They managed to complete that cinematic without the game crashing. And I had one or two people sh uh, get to Sun Quan, so it's probably a little bit later than I actually was when I, my last uh, thing ended. Here's the big development, though, and I saved my game. I'll save it again, just in case, because I just got the uh, diplomacy event to kick over. And I've not played my rival Warlord's Tao Tao save since I started recording this thing. Pretty much at this point, if I'm playing this game, I figure I might as well be recording it. Come on, they're saving, they're saving. Come on. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh. Excellent. Alright. Here's the big thing, folks. Deploy officers. Desired officer. Vulture Bobo! Vulture Bobo is showing up. I've been to all three of my cities. None of my officers, Ju Gate Leon doesn't think any of my officers can employ Vulture Bobo. So, I'm like, well, shoot, I want Vulture Bobo. I want Vulture Bobo for my army. Vulture Bobo will mean that I can get JG Mystery, and it will make it much more likely that I can get She Grimmeth when I eventually go down there and conquer the territories that he currently works in. So, I look up Vulture Bobo on the old, uh, you know, list of officers going here, and um, what do I find out about Vulture Bobo? Close to Guan Yu. You can read the rest of that if you want. Late Han officer, sworn sibling of Shi Grimmeth. Uh, JG Mysteries, no, nowhere to be found. Okay, whatever. Uh, undefeated warrior, claimed as the strongest in the history. Boasted incomparable strength in infantry combat close to Guan Yu. Even Guan Yu, it just says, will not. cannot hire this guy for some reason. Vulture Bobo. I don't know what his deal is. He just does not want to help the Han, I guess. But we're going to send Guan Yu up there. Hope for the best. Unfortunately, I'm afraid I failed to employ Vulture Bobo. Okay. That's why, uh, that's why let's try to really on. Nope, we couldn't do it either. Let's try... I didn't realize that he actually is in this town. We should, like, freaking arrest him until he joins us. Even the wood oxen of Yue Ying were not able to get him. So you know what? Screw it. Let's load our game, because Boba the Vulture just wasted half my action points. <laughs> that jerk. Alright, is this safe state abuse? Eh, you know what? This is borderline. I have accepted some stuff in this LP that was disastrous. Like, I could have gone back and... and where he played those videos where I gave money to Sun Quan and he still didn't want to join up and help out and then we lost the city. I did not load state and back off a of Han Zhang to avoid getting into disputes with Ma Tang. I just rolled with it, folks. Anyway, now we've got officers hanging around here. Oh, and um, I've got this city up here working on a sex farm. I mean, uh, they're working on towers. I want these guys to be in a position where they can uh, maybe go on the offensive if necessary. This is a crossbow city. But I really want to get some spears going here. Young on, I'm trying to build them up militarily so they'll be ready. In case I decide I need to go on the offense over there. But in the meantime, this city, uh... 
Just waiting for some yeah, pancakes guy and seeing Wukong. Got a pretty hot group there going. I'm peeing. Waiting. These guys are waiting to be ready to um, go on their next attack. I don't need more siege weapons built here right now. Their next assault is going to be on Chengdu. We got a Chengdu attitude, folks. We take over Chengdu. It's finally starting to increase its soldier count, but nowhere near enough to really make a difference. Um, that'll be like one of the best cities that I'm going to get. And uh, Zitong. Once I've taken over Zitong, I can uh, really turn these two cities into a district that I'll let the computer auto control, and its mission will be to supply District 1. Then I can take these two cities. As I take cities, I will start assigning them to the computer control district because I'm now in a position where with my allies up here, nobody's down here that's going to make any kind of moves on me. I get to a position now where I've got, if I have cities that are not bordering an enemy, I will finally be able to have the computer start auto-running cities. And their mission, you can you can assign each the district that you set up, you can assign it an overall mission, and that mission will be to provide weapons and soldiers and transport them to the front line. So basically these cities will start churning out goods, transport them to my front line cities. Awesome. Looking forward to being in a position to do that for a while now. Uh, I mean, I've only got 24. Let's see, what can you guys do? Are there any officers that need to be rewarded? No. Boba the Vulture is still hanging around, waiting to be employed, but just not... Not wanting to help us, Bobo. We need you, man. Why won't you help us? Why won't they help me? Yeah, a lot of good stuff going on here. You know what I really need to have here is the ability to build siege weapons. Right now, I've got the ability to recruit two troops per turn, which is pretty good. But I think the ability to build siege weapons here—I think it's time for that to happen. So let's uh, pick one of these two barracks and move it. Yep. That took 10 action points? Crap, that means I can't build another facility until the next turn. I did not think that was going to take action points. It gave me technique points, though, which is kind of weird when you think about it. Alright, so let's get back down here and end our turn. And I hope over the vulture sticks around. Tower stock and young Hans now one. All right. Liu Bei, are you by any chance uh, free to go try to hire Vulture Bobo? Well, whether you are or not, it does not appear that he's interested in being hired by you. That's something I haven't done for a while, actually, using um, ranks. I just noticed that there are ranked officers that I could try to hire. Let's uh, auto appoint ranks. Got a couple guys can get promoted, including Guan Ping. Guan Ping! Xing Tsai can be promoted to officer. I don't see how that's really a promotion. Soon Wukong can be promoted to officer. He's got some deeds. Pancakes Guy is going to become the East Retainer. Way to go, Pancakes Guy. Mr. Sirius, you do not yet appear to have a rank because you haven't done anything yet. You did drill a couple troops. We've got two demotes and zero promotes? How is that the case? Who's getting demoted here? Oh, it's eight promotes and two demotes. Sorry, I was, um, that eight looked like a zero. Yeah, let's do it. Hopefully I did not negatively affect anyone's loyalty by demoting them. I don't think I did. What can we, all we can get going is more siege weapons because we don't have our barracks going yet. Can't, I mean, our smith, I can't even recruit. So let's drill here. Back up to Shang Yang and hope that somebody can recruit Bobo the Vulture. Excuse me, I'll 
be a little annoyed if I can't get Bobo when he finally wanders into my freaking town. He's coming to your town, he'll help you party it down. His name's Bobo Vulture, or Vulture Bobo, or whatever his name is. He's not freaking joining my army! What do I gotta do, Bobo Vulture? I haven't sent Juan Yue Ying. You're just not impressed by wood oxen or, you know, attractive women, apparently. Juan Yu, he's got that great beard. Don't tell me you don't think the beard is sexy. Fine. has full facilities going, right? Yeah, 12 and 12 facilities. It's just not bringing in the gold fast enough to recover from the expense of building those towers. Alright, well, you know, you guys have just... Oh, geez, look at this. All-stars here. It's the Diplomacy All-Stars. I need to get them sh shipping some of my gold off to Sun Quan, I guess. An alliance. Hmm. Shuge Leon could get an alliance going with them for like 3,000 gold, looks like. Yes, let me go down there and trick Zhou Yu into being my bitch. Oh, never mind, his portrait is still there, but it's no longer saying that he can actually pull this off when I bring the gold down. I take charge of these orders. No, not a penny more than is necessary. Alright, 2,700 gold appears to be what will be required. So let's get you down there, buddy. Thanks, pal. You're a real booster. Now, again, I gotta remember, the gold is not gonna continue to come in at this rate. It seems to be that I've... seems like I've got a ton of gold because I brought in all that gold from the other city there. And uh, Cow Tao Tao, Cow Cow, whatever his name is, had a hard time developing the place. In part, the city took over. In part, because I took everything that they had with me. I feel kind of bad about that. I'm supposed to be Liu Bei, Mr. Honor. I'm not supposed to be, like, screwing over the peasants. But, um... Hey, man, you know, can't leave it for Tao Tao. Besides, uh... I'm just kind of pretending that I took some of the peasants with me. Because it doesn't really keep track of peasant population in these cities in this game. But hey, man, diplomacy, we're going to have blue here, blue here, and blue here. We're going to have, like, the alliance to end South Tau Mania going. And if I take care of all the guys I'm not allied with that are down here in the long term, I'm eventually going to have a big, fat chunk of territory. I'll have real trouble when my two allies, Sun Quan and um, Liu Kong, are going to be going at it, of course. And if I, if they gobble up Liu Kong's territory before I can, once now that I'm allied with them, I'm kind of stuck. But I should at least be able to take over these territories. And eventually, I'm going to want to break the alliance with both of these parties. It'll just be a matter of who's stronger. Like, you know, do I want to take care of... Do I want to start making inroads against Cao Cao before I start turning on my own allies? be an interesting conundrum, folks, but I'm going to go ahead and save my game. Because so I keep running into problems with, you know, technical stuff. And it's, uh... Making it difficult to let's play. So let's save so that if something else goes wrong, I won't lose too much. That'll end my turn. I will place one card face down in my graveyard and end my turn. You boy. Alright, come on now, 99. It's time for you to hit 100. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's end the old turn here. Yeah, Liu Zhang is really not going to put up much of a fight, I don't think. Yuji's units are going Yiji. Gong Zun Kong's army was wiped out. Cao Cao. I was not expecting Gong Zun Kong to last as long as he did, actually. So, good good on him. Now, I had at least one Lu Zhu from Sun Quan's army. I had at least one created officer who was up there helping out uh, Gong Zun Kong. He will presumably end up working for Wei now. The development of the smith is complete. The village smithy stands. I can't remember. There's a poem I was trying to quote. And I realized I couldn't remember any of it. But the peaceful music is continuing, folks, because we're not quite ready yet to take out Liu Zhang. 
It's only a matter of time, though. All right, is it time for you to go find and employ Bobo the Vulture? Bobo the Vulture is no longer employable. Damn it. This is not much of a surprise, folks. I got a feeling he was going to get away. What is the loyalty of these officers down here? Screamy Doom is not going to come work for us. Ji Hao Shang is not going to come work for us. She Grimmeth? No. If She Grimmeth were to join us, he might be able to talk around that idiot Bobo the Vulture who does not seem to understand what side his, bu his bread is buttered on. Let's do a quick search while we're here. Any of the officers who are in this city building something going to be involved in our next invasion? Because if they're not, the people who are building this last facility here are not people that I'm going to be using in my attack anyway. Mr. Sirius is developing a stable. Eh, you know, I might bring him along. And Wei Yan, I'd probably bring along. Who the heck are you? We have a... Oh, he's a prisoner, though. Sorry. I still have one prisoner of uh, Liu Zhang's army here. His loyalty is... Oh, yes! There we go! We can finally get him on board, thanks to Liu Bei. Liu Bei has successfully employed Wang Fu. Everybody Wang Fu tonight. Relations between our forces have worsened. How much worse are going to get? Well, there won't be a force to be angry at me for much longer. Ooh. I can wait one turn before we launch our attack, folks, so that I've got all the officers there at my disposal. But in the meantime, um... Ooh, we don't have a lot of pikes. Do we need pikes? We've got a tower. We can't get any more horses, and we've only got 7,500. Stable is the last thing that we're waiting to come along. Well, let's get a, a nice, uh, full-size spear unit going here. Oh, I just have two spear units going, in fact. We're not gonna get... Yeah, we're not doing anything with you. And there went all of my turns, or action points. But I'll be in really good shape to launch an attack next time out. The only question is, do I want to head south, go through this mountain pass, and uh, attack what appears to be the capital city now of Liu Zhang down here? Jiangning, or do I want to go after the much easier to reach, only slightly better defended, and much better city of Chengdu? Let Liu Zhang live to fail another day. That's what I'm probably going to end up doing, folks. I really want to make sure that I get Jitong. It's not the best city on the frickin' map or anything like that, but this is a city that, um, well, no, so far they had nobody, they don't seem to have come knocking. But this is a city that my ally, Ma Tang, could potentially take. And if Ma Tang takes that city, whoa, guys, low. Um, 240 days worth of food. 240 days worth of food. And I hate you, Jen. How you doing there, Chicky? She's got 140 days, 240 days worth of food. Which means they've got enough food to go to Wan. And that better be what you guys are doing, or we're going to have a problem. If you are not going... If you are planning to pass through my territory in peace, fine. And I don't think the AI is going to, like, pretend to be on the way to attack Cow Cow and betray me and attack me instead. But, you know, a little paranoid right now, the way that this game is throwing some, some things at me that I wasn't expecting. Either way, I know what I'm going to be keeping an eye on when I end my turn. Okay, they did not attack my tower. You notice that my crossbow chart is not going to fire on them either because they're allies. Gondang's unit's been destroyed. It's getting pretty hot and heavy between Wu and Wei. I'm not paying attention to it. Troops think that Jin Yi is very weak. Let's look for an opportunity to capture it. That's actually probably what they're planning to, to do is attack Jin Yi. Or possibly Wan. That city is going to take its 
It's gonna take a while to get it back on its feet. Meanwhile, battle still rages on down here. It would be lovely if Wu can just like keep them from growing in strength, but not actually be able to take them out. That would be fantastic, folks. Hmm, what do I want to do? Do I want to spend another turn sort of prepping this city? I would really like to have more, uh, some of the stuff that I've got right now. Someplace where I could hire him from, but let's see where he's at now. Zhang Liang seems to be unemployed. He is one of them people who I think was a non Three Kingdoms officer. I might be wrong. Ultra Bobo Go. There he is. He is in Jin Yi. Damn it! He's actually gone to the town that I started out in that I've lost to Cao Cao. He's probably finding out from them about how Liu Bei was such a jerk, total pushover. You don't want to work for him. Oh man, if he ends up working for Cao Cao, I will be irritated. Oh well, I've already determined that actually being in the city he's in isn't going to help anything because he freaking, uh, even his best buddy Guan Yu that he's close to and everything wouldn't like join up. turn getting ready without actually um I had it up to like 4,000 pikes. How's it down to like 37.92 all of a sudden? I don't understand that. to have a thousand technique points soon if this uh, continues this way. Alright, everything seems to be going pretty well over here. I feel like I should be sending gold to Sun Quan again, but uh, well, now I don't have enough technique points. So let's get building uh, just so we have a siege weapon up here for, you know, whenever we need one. Let's might as well get one started. Hey, this place builds cheese siege weapons cheap anyway. You can leave it to me. I love building stuff like, you know... In Kesson too, Huang Yue Ying has a very different personality, but she's still supposed to be building inventions and stuff. And of course in Dynasty Warriors, she's credited with building the wood oxen, which are goofy as hell, but... Sun Quan's unit began to Excuse me, to retreat. What are you doing in combat, Sun Quan? That was Sun Quan. They're two different guys. Or they confuse the heck out of me. Oh, that's right, we're gonna have an alliance. Ah, oh, it's you of Liu Bei's army. My units have been destroyed, you know. Now, what can I do for you? I'll come right to the point. Would you ally with Li us, Liu Bei's army? What's this, an alliance? Hmm. All right, fine. From now on, we're allied with Liu Bei's army. This is good news. Now I can go back with my head held high. Oh, and say hello to Zhou Yu, who is not as smart as I. Bay's army and Sun Quan's army entered into an alliance together. This should negatively affect my relations with uh, Yu Biao's son, but I don't think it works that way. They should be like, what the fuck are you doing, Liu Bei? But, you know, it's not going to work that way. I know it doesn't look like we're doing that hot, folks, but uh, we're making some real inroads here. So, um, let's head back down here and, um, 
Well, we saved my game again before I do anything rash. Do -do -do -do. Boop -boop. It's time to make the happy fun time music go away, folks, because it's time to go on the attack. the happy fun time music, but I'm afraid we must now become warriors again. I got uh, almost 7,000 pikes. I got 10,000 spears, 10,000 bows, 12,000 horses, and a tower. Let's get the cavalry going first. Well, let's find out who would be leading what units. I want to make sure the pancakes guy gets a chance to participate. Well, not pancakes guy. I'm actually more worried right now about him. Um, what I'm really worried about is 200 days of food. Let me see. How many units are that, that size? Back them down to like 180 days. One, yeah. Or 170. That should be fine, I think. Jing Tsai needs a chance to do something for herself. Love to put Guan Ping in and have her be in charge. Let's let Zing Jing Tsai. She's a nice. She's a nice young lady. She she means well. She she uh, apparently ends up marrying Liu Shan, the most incompetent man in the game. I think she's good with retarded people. And I'm not talking about pancakes guy. So yeah, we'll have uh, Jing Tsai uh, with the help of Pancakes Guy, who, as a negotiator, is he's skilled at talking to someone like Mr. Shears. He's like, I want, I want candy, I want toys. And he's like, you can have a new toy once we take Chengdu, Mr. Serious. Okay, so they're gonna like work together uh, with a highfalutin unit here, and they've got 14, they've got 200 days worth of food with 1,400. So I'll just, well, I was gonna back them down. Zhou Yun's unit won't be easy, able to get back easily. Ah, screw it. They get 170 days food, too. No point in, like, treating them better than Zhou Yun. No, not there. There. Alright, so... Now, let's get a tower unit going. Make sure that I... Yeah, 5,000. Eighty days for the food, and um, what have I got left? Bow unit. Don't really, didn't really get enough going for a full-powered pike unit. Oh, good. And this means that Guan Ping gets to do something. That is a pretty massive bow unit, actually. And you know what? They are going to bring along gold so that the city will have gold when I take it over. Ooh, I'm leaving these guys pretty defenseless, but the only people who could in theory attack them... Jiang Ning could attack. probably should have, uh, okay, good, you got more gold, that's good. I should have, wow, I was going to send some people to, to 
play nice with Sun Quan, but now they've got an alliance going, it's not as important. Oh, you want to keep on their good side. But, um... Oh, this city now is... Reward. There are no officers to give... Okay, that's what I want to check on. Alright, so you guys are going to go pick a fight with Cao Cao. Good for you. It must be really convenient for them that if they attack... If they build up forces at Hanjong and start attacking Cao Cao, they are taking advantage of the fact that I'm in Shangyong and Cao Cao would have to roll through me to take any kind of counter-strike. I can't say I blame them, folks. This is exactly what I would do were I in their shoes. Well, right, we're going to put our cursor over Chengdu and end our turn. See whether they send anybody out to fight us. As you can see, we've got them badly outnumbered here. So really, their only chance is to try to counter attack our city from behind while we're dealing with Chengdu. I don't think they're going to do that. And if they do, I don't think it'll succeed anyway. It is now my turn, and the music is playing the war music because we're going to war. Virginia's going to war. Each native symbol grab a gun and blah, 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 blah. Okay. So, this is good stuff, folks. This is good stuff. We're getting ready to take Chengdu, the capital of Shu. Uh, well, it was basically the capital of um, Liu Bei's empire. And uh, we're going to do that. Not in the, in the, it might not fall in the next video, folks, but we're certainly going to start putting hurting on them in the next video. So I'm not doing it in order. I'm, start, I'm thinking more and more that Liu Zhang's attempt to, to attack us here in Yang An was a godsend. Because this is going very smoothly. I have a feeling trying to attack these guys from a distance might have been difficult. Uh, probably not undoable. We would have a foothold. If we'd gone this path, trying to attack Liu Kang, Liu Kong, or Liu Qi, as I think it was at the time, could have been difficult. Attacking Liu Zhang is going very smoothly. The risk I'm running here is that the Wu will eat up this territory before I can take it. But uh, I think I've got a strong enough power base from here to, to do rather well. Or at least I will have very soon. I don't know, I'm just like talking now, folks. Uh, but either way, yeah, when we come, I think it might have been a godsend that Liu Zhang attacked us here because it's got us eating up this territory. It'll give us the strength we need to push through some other stuff. So when we come back, folks, we're going to uh, take Chengdu and uh, finish off Liu Zhang within the next few videos. And um, we'll f have something akin to Shu established. We'll need this territory here and some, we'll need to finish di diving, dividing this up. We're Nazi Germany, and these guys are the Soviets. This is Poland. Sorry, guys. That's pretty much how it's going to be. But uh, yeah, we're uh, we're well on our way, folks. When we come back, we'll have more. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.